Kia ora koutou. Well, the last seven weeks has certainly required a full team effort from everyone here at the Halberg Foundation who've been covering a variety of roles. And this is mainly due to two rescheduled major events. You'll recall the ISPS Honda Halberg Awards Decade Champion recently and the Halberg Games, which have come really close together. So a huge thanks to all of you, particularly outside our organisation, who have really ensured the success of both events. The decision to reschedule the Halberg Awards due to COVID restrictions was rewarded by a successful Decade Champion format. And the feedback via our surveys and directly from guests was overwhelming. The Decade Champion also provided this platform for us to reinforce how well New Zealand has done over the past 10 years at a global sporting level. And we should all be very proud New Zealanders. It was also really great to hear how people enjoyed the Halberg messages of the mahi that we do. This was both through our storytelling of the young people within our vignettes and also the inter interactions directly with the Halberg Youth Council. Thank you to our major partners for your efforts and support to really ensure that this event could still go ahead. And now, less than a month later, we had the Halberg Games and they reminded us of the importance of young people being active in both sport and recreation and of the wide-ranging benefits. And this includes new friends, which gives a sense of belonging, having fun, which is great for mental health, the thrill of competition, and finding a new sport. The numbers this year increased by 30%. So we saw 195 physically disabled and vision impaired young athletes attending, and they were representing 13 regional teams. So I'd like to acknowledge the Parafed and the sport for the input that you had ensuring that level of participation and also the preparedness. And it's great that this is becoming a pinnacle event on our yearly calendar. A highlight of many of the athletes, and so they told us, was the support of both previous and current Kiwi sporting stars. We had ISPS Honda ambassadors, Richie McCaw and Dan Carter, Eliza McCartney, Liam Malone, Holly Robinson, and of course ISPS Honda decade champion, well half of the decade champion, Eric Murray, who was also at the Halberg Games running the indoor rowing. Again, can we recognise our partners and funders for your outstanding and continued support. I'd also like to thank Sky Sport for launching the Sky Sport Emerging Athlete Grant. And this provides two Halberg Games athletes with grants towards coaching and equipment to assist in developing the sporting talent. And we're also really delighted to announce the high ISPS Honda Scholarships, six this year, and they're open also to Halberg athletes who wish to compete on the Trans-Tasman stage. We were also really thrilled that our senior advisor, Dave McCalman, was invited to take part in a workshop at the Green Pavlova, love that name, the Green Pavlova Conference with Andy Leslie and his team at Recreation Aotearoa. We acknowledge Andrew and his team for advancing accessibility options in the outdoors. I was privileged to be part of the Women in Sport Aotearoa lunch recently. I really enjoyed captaining my table, which saw people from Hibiscus Coast AFC. I think a highlight was the panel discussion, which was moderated by the former and only New Zealand basketballer who's played in the WNBA, Megan Compain. And this lunch marked one year till New Zealand hosts the eighth IWG World Conference on Women in Sport. And a special shout out to Rager Froggart, who was the powerhouse behind that. Recently, the Honourable Grant Robertson announced an update around the Sport New Zealand Disability Plan. And this is about providing support to disabled tamariki and rangatahi. The investment includes two contestable funds and also an additional investment to the Parafeds and D Sport and the National Disability Sports Organisations. So we're really looking forward to some great initiatives. 
lockdown provided an opportunity for us to reflect on our premise, the cost, the size and the location. So although you can't see it, I'm surrounded by boxes and we are going to be moving this week from our Ellerslie office to the fringes of Parnell. And coincidentally and luckily, we're going to be in the same group of offices as Paralympics New Zealand. So we'll send you some details around that very soon. As part of our Ngā Kauhoi or Halberg, we've recently been filming our Tikanga Guide. And this is going to act as a useful tool to further our cultural capability of our Halberg team. From this, we saw the implementing of the trophy blessing format that we had at the awards, which was also now featured at the Halberg Games. And this was led by our Kamatua, Ike Rakana, and our Senior Youth Council Advisor, Thomas Chin. And more events, I was really delighted to attend a function at the Murray Halberg Retirement Village recently, where David King and the Ryman Healthcare team unveiled a wonderful painting of Sir Murray by well-known artist Craig Primrose. I have to say, the residents are a really lively bunch, and many of them shared some fond memories of Sir Murray and his gold medal run in Rome in 1960. Please enjoy reading further updates from our advisors. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa.